Delighted to have you on. It's so confusing, isn't it? I mean, there's one set of rules in Scotland, another set of rules in Wales. We don't know what's going on in England. And frankly, all of this numbers and social distancing, you need to walk around with a specially updating constant cheat sheet. Why is it such a mess? Well, that's a good question. Why is it such a mess? And I think you put it very plainly yourself. It is extremely confusing having different rules right the way across the country. We've seen here in Wales, Mark Drakeford has brought new COVID rules back. We have not seen the data as to why he has brought these restrictions out. He has gone early in my point, my view and my party's view. We have not seen the data to say that hospitalizations are up. We've not seen the data to say that deaths are up. This is going to be a really confusing time for businesses. I've been inundated with business owners contacting me saying that they're going to have to find extra staff, but the labour isn't there. We cannot get people to work now. And all the social distancing rules, the limits on people meeting indoors, the amount of people who can sit on a table at a pub, this is going to decimate yet again the hospitality industry, which has been put under severe, severe pressure because of the pandemic. And before long, we are going to have to start to learn to live with this virus. It is not going away. And the sooner we can actually start to live with it, the better, because our businesses just cannot con 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 cannot continue to be shut down and have restrictions put on them all the time. It's just ridiculous. But how on earth are, are these measures going to be enforced anyway? If you've got, what are you going to need? Someone standing on the door of a pub, counting people in and out, checking how many people are at tables, knocking on people's doors, spying in people's houses. I mean, I, I can't quite see how on earth this is going to be rolled out in Wales. Well, I can't see how it's going to be enforced. You know, local authorities are under extreme pressure at the minute because of the funding cuts that they've had year after year in Wales by the Welsh Labour government. But the problem is that the people aren't going to enforce it. I don't think there's an appetite there with people to follow the rules either. Pubs are going to be under severe pressure. The hospitality sector, I was talking to a pub owner the other day who had numbers and numbers of people cancelling on them. And they've had stock brought in from suppliers that they've had to throw away. That's supply chain issues. How are they going to pay their bills? It's just confusing. I don't see how this is going to work. And as I said, we just need to start to learn to live with this virus because I think Mark Rayford's doing this to make himself relevant again because people are losing faith in his government here in Wales. I was talking to a number of people this last week since he announced these further restrictions. You just don't see. I think it's madness. Mark Rayford always used to say, we're following the science. The only thing I think Mark Rayford's following now is any way to keep himself relevant again.